when you had sinned in the Old Testament and you came to the priest with your offering, they told you to bring a spotless lamb, a faultless lamb, a first year lamb, a firstborn. The priest didn't look at you. He looked at the lamb. And on the basis of the lamb, you are accepted and your sins were wiped away. Tonight, it's on the basis of Jesus in your life that you've gained complete ablution of all your sins. Not one of them remains, not one. And you are completely declared righteous in the presence of God. The whole of the New Testament is in Christ. If you're in Him, you're justified. God is looking at the life of Christ. He lived it vicariously for you. He didn't live it for Himself. He lived a perfect life so He could impute it to you and to your account. He was born without contaminated blood. Everybody else in human history has been born with the contamination of Adam's blood, the sin in it, but not in the blood of Jesus. He was born by divine conception. So His blood is perfect. It is the only blood. It's the only element in the entire universe that is capable of removing the stain of sin from your soul. Nothing else can do it. And Christ shed that blood. He didn't hold on to it. He didn't try to live a full life till the end of His days. Crucified at the age of 33, He was the living Lamb of God. Sacrificed for us so He could cleanse the sins of every person throughout the world. But the most glorious fact is, <laughs> if you go to the tombs of any great sage in history, Confucius, you'll find bits and pieces of bones. Go to other great tombs, there they are in the mausoleum or in the coffin. You can see some through the glass. But you go to the tomb of Jesus, it's spooky. There's nothing there. He's gone. He's risen from the dead, people. He's the only one who ever did. Death could not hold him. And you are in him. The moment you receive Christ, you're in resurrection power. Let me read this poem I, I wrote about this just to introduce tonight. In him, an outlandish blasphemy falls from his lips. I am. Truth himself claims the vine. Yes, I am the vine. Abide. I in you. You in I. He invites. He welcomes. You agree. Yes. To become one. Life's core secret here is born. Here the seed dawns fruitful. Our methods fall failing, the way still standing. Our machinery chokes, yet the breath still breathes. In Him alone forever unfolds. Paul's pages flood us with those choirs of heaven's song, Jesus. From Him, through Him, to Him, by Him, and in Him. Jesus the fountain, a pure river showering earth with light. In Him nowhere else, anywhere else, just broken pots and unwashed vessels. In Him I'm lost, in Him I'm found. In Him I live, in Him I die. In Him I'm broken, in Him I'm whole. In Him I'm the fool, in Him I'm the wise. In Him I'm nothing, in Him I have all. Christ my God, to be found in Him, my high prize completed in Him. I'm aghast, I'm amazed, I'm speechless, I've been raised. How could it be He's chosen to live also in me? I quake, I shiver. Christ in me, how could that be? Me, a temple for Him? The Creator, the Lord, abides in me. With worship I tremble. Kindle this fire, I will serve you, Lord. Worship I will, with all I am, with all my desire. Yes, and amen in you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's give Him praise for what He's done in your life.